Hello everybody, my name is Kader Mark, I'm back for another video of Star Wars The Old Republic. We're back for some more, boys. Finally back with this brand new, uh, well, not series, but brand new uh, expansion that came out. As you can see, everything looks kind of different. You, you saw a little bit of the, uh, the logo at the beginning and stuff like that. Everything's kind of different. They changed a lot. Uh, from the U the main UI to the menu, uh, from the gameplay itself, apparently there's a brand new way of playing. Uh, you can swap from classes to classes and stuff like that. Already you can see right here it changes, everything changes. Uh, this is all the, the ones I've completed. I've never completed these two. Uh, I don't know if I'm ever going to do that, but it's probably my plans eventually. But yeah, I'm really excited to play this again, boys. We're coming back once again to Star Wars The Old Republic as my old character, uh, the Bounty Hunter, of course. So, uh, let's do this shit. I'm ready to do this. Now that I've got my actual PC, I can actually play, boys. About damn time. Let's do this. Alright, so we're in. Uh, first thing first, we're already here. Uh, we know kind of what we want to do. Uh, first off, I don't know why this is all there. I want to have the advanced. There we go. Uh, what's uh, over here? What do we can we claim? Just a bunch of Jawa junk. We don't need that. All right, there we go. So we're back in the game, boys. Uh, there's a bunch of things I want to do today. Uh, we're not going to focus too much on the main story for the first video. First video is going to be us catching up a little bit with the whole thing that's going on. Um, I have to redo the entire story, I think. Uh, Secrets of the Enclave is the main story that's going on right now. I kind of have to redo the cutscene. Because uh, last time I tried to do it, kind of glitched out or mirror uh, my old PC crashed, of course, because it kept doing that. So uh, we're going to reset that. We're going to do uh, reset the uh, secrets of the Enclave because uh, I want to show you guys the, the cutscenes and whatnot. Uh, we also have uh, the second combat style training. Okay, yeah, I kind of want to do that as well. I want to do the training and skills because this is the new abilities that we can do. So we can have two separate combat styles that we, we can switch uh, in between boys. So that's really good. I'm going to look at everything really quick. Galaxy map. Is there any new things on the map? I don't fix. So I think I've got everything. Okay, so first thing we're, we're going to look at uh, training and skills. After that, we're going to go to the Cartel Market because Cartel Market, I've got like 9k coins. I've got a lot of stuff, boys. Over time, I stopped kind of playing uh, for, a uh, for a long time. So I just, since I'm a subscriber, they're giving me Cartel coins every month. So that's pretty good. Yeah, I'm going to look at it afterwards, see if there's anything interesting that we could probably buy. We'll, we'll have to see, boys. So... Let's just do the training and skills first. Now you guys already know I'm going to be probably copyrighted at the WAD, so I'm not going to get like any money from this these videos no monetization whatsoever boys so i hope you enjoy it i'm like i'm not gonna get rid of the music because uh it's uh, it's essential to star wars you play something star wars or you want to do something star wars you gotta have the music uh all right so i've all, i'm already a power tech as you can see i got a choice between all of these what do i want to be all right so i could also be a commando and I think that's what I kind of want to do. Uh, why Commando? Because the Commando has the sneak uh, thing, the stealth ability. The stealth ability is going to be allow me to be basically stealthy and be um, invisible to the naked eye. That's kind of what I want to do, boys. If I want to not have to always, always fight these everybody. I think Commando sounds like a really nice one. Is it a commando or the operative that has that? I'm not too sure, actually. Tactile Edge, so the operative tool set contains a variety of combat methods, including uh, debilitating. Yes, this is it. This is it right there. Okay, so yeah, it's operative that I want. I want operative, boys. Uh, we'll take that. I'm going to take this one. 
Yes, uh, I want to specialize in this uh, operative style of combat. There we go. I can only train you in one style, a second combat style. If you choose the operative, you cannot choose anything else. It's fine by me, boys. Are you sure you want to proceed? Yes. Let's do this. Your second combat style is complete. You made an excellent selection. Please watch uh, or your step as you exit the instructional facility. We stay neutral, so you don't have to. Okay. Now, this is what it's fun about the training and skills. I already knew about that. I just didn't do it before. It's the first time for me doing it on video. So, uh, basically, what it what it does is you can have a second skill. So, you can switch in between terror. Uh, supposedly, switch in between. Let me find out how do I do that exactly. Uh, it's inventory, right? No, it's... It's B, it's it's Y. Oh, which one is it, boys? No, it's not this. Which one is it? Is the oh, character selection, it's C. Oh, it, oh man, look at that. Completely changing everything as well. Select the title we already have. I don't want to do that. We've got our damage uh, that's going up as well. Look at that, man. So it even shows our damage and everything. That's kind of nice. It shows our enlightenment, which is 4 in the darkness. I like the new UI, it's kind of nice. You can switch item rating, it's 274. Um, not really high, that, that high, uh, boys. Okay, so I've got already all of these. So I've got all of this as well. Okay, and it, when I do character cheats, it already automatically puts me into the inventory as well, which is really nice. So warning, changing this will update your current loadout. And we'll reset your ability layout. I have the jet charge with this. Let me switch to operative really quick. See what it's going to do. Alright, so once I switch to the operative, it changes my look. Interesting. Unify the colors, please. Okay, so I can uh, bring back the colors like I wanted to. Okay, good. So everything comes back to normal. Except uh, I've got a lot less higher of rating for some reason. And yeah, my rating is a lot less higher. I've got brand new abilities instead, and abilities that I'm used to as well, because I'm used to that. I have the stealth, which is stealth is really going to be important, boys, and I want that to be over here. We're going to equip the stealth over the, on that side. Kind of want to do concealment, to be honest. Yes, I think concealment would be better. It's direct damage, boys. Much better at that. Evasive, operative uh, as well. Okay, loadouts. Uh, my loadout, that's my loadout and everything. Create loadout. Okay, so that's my first loadout. That's concealment. Oh, okay. I see. So if I want to be a power tech, I need that weapon. But if I'm an I'm operative, I'm going to have that weapon instead. Uh, so th I have that weapon instead if I'm an operative. That's how it works. Got you. Uh, well, like, can I switch this though? The Because it's pretty... It's not really that powerful. All the loadout and stuff, 268 across the board. Just need to find where the mods are at. We're going to equip ourselves, boys. So yeah, this is going to kind of be a chill video a little bit more uh, right here. It's us uh, going to be ge gearing up. I don't see any knife, boys. So I'm guessing we're not going to be able to get any of that. So I'm just then going to go back into decorations. Oh, really? Wait, an ancestral graveyard. That's actually awesome. That some of these new things I've never seen before. This is some picnic stuff. Yeah, I've never seen any of those before, boys. Uh, it's been a while since I've played. Unlocks? Nope. Okay, so I just want to do item modifications. We even have dyes, of course. Go for the green. The green color seems like a really nice addition. This is a bit too... A little bit too on the blue side. So I think I'm going to put the greenish right here. So it's claimed. That is done, boys. So we bought that. Let me just get... Uh, oh, wait. I saw something. Hover pod for Baby Yoda, boys. It, it, this sleepy little buddy will follow you on your adventures after... Even while tucked away from a nap. Wait. Are you serious? Summons a small overpark carrying precious cargo inside, which will follow and passively observe you on your adventure. No shot. Okay, no, I need that right now, boys. What does it look like? Oh, shit. Well, it doesn't show Baby Yoda or anything in there, but it's not Grogu, but it's the. F it's kind of. Oh, man. I gotta have that. I need that, boys. Yeah, I need to get me some that. Uh, yeah, I need that. That's, it's a pet. 
I'm gonna need it though. You already know I'm buying that. All day, every day, boys. Absolutely. All right, so we got that. So I've got, uh, I got, let's say, just say it's Grogu. We've got Grogu with us, boys. All right, so I think we're good. I think the next for, thing for us to do is to start up the mission, or at least the cutscene. Uh, the cutscene that's gonna introduce us to the whole, uh, the whole uh, expansion and everything. So we're gonna do that. I'm good to go. Uh, I've got my costume and everything. I'm good to go. Uh, I don't have any... She's not rearing anything. I'm gonna be... Well done now. Uh, I want, obviously, Shea Vizsla. She's gonna be my main companion. She's be always been... She's got the Forgerer out set, uh, outfit as well, boys. What is she following Security you around for? Notice. Is she contacting me? Is it empty? What is? I don't get it. What is she call uh, talking about? Man, this girl is literally right now pointing on my baby Yoda at Grogu. What the fuck is she doing? Uh, I don't know where where it went though. Wait, she sits down next to the other pod. What are you talking about? She's not even there anymore. All right, well, oh, there's the other pod. About them time. Yeah, there is supposed to be. They well, they said in the description that was sometimes he was gonna pop his head off, but so far I haven't seen it, boys. And he's very far behind me and stuff. Uh, I do like the fact that she's, um, she was so curious and stuff. That's interesting. It might be the first time they, there's, uh, she was seeing that. Just like me. Alright, let's just do our thing, alright? I was in the middle of talking to this girl, this random girl that approached me. Uh, this is what I like about, uh, MMOs, boys. Just interact with people and it's really fun to interact with them and stuff. Uh, I'll just start the mission up. I'll see you guys once, uh, we're at the cutscene, I guess. We're nearing our destination. A few more minutes, and we'll be planetside on Dantooine. How are you planning to get us down without attracting the Republic's attention? Ah, you must remember, Dantooine isn't exactly a bustling metropolis world. Their government lacks organization, and when it comes to officially sanctioned travel, let's just say it won't be difficult for a small shuttle like ours to sneak in unnoticed. It is imperative that we do not draw attention to ourselves during this mission, Rivix. I hope you remember that. Of course I do. We should have no trouble reaching the Enclave Ruins. No trouble at all. So we're going to the Enclave. Uh, I do remember a little bit uh, in between the uh, an off cutscene. I guess I couldn't equip the cutscene, unfortunately, boys. But what happened is I talked to this guy, which is Darth Cravius or something like that. Uh, when it saw me, it wanted to see me and basically talk to me into going to Den Tween. I don't, I don't remember why we are going to Den Tween. I think there's a problem with some Sith or something, some old relics that he wants to get, or something like that. Uh, Den Tween, though, is where no Revan was at. So, all, huh? it's an old Jedi enclave Lost. and stuff. Our window was small, but I was sure we would be the first to arrive. It takes the Republic military ages to agree on anything, let alone act. I can't believe they've mobilized such a show of force so quickly. So yeah, uh, basically we chosen uh, last video, which was almost a year ago. We chosen to side with the Empire, boys. So we're definitely with the Empire for good now. Uh, we need a new plan. This is your fault. Well, now what? Believe it or not, they've beaten us. So what do we do now? Well since walking right past those Republic soldiers and possibly scaring off our quarry is clearly out of the question. Might I suggest an alternate route? Years ago, many people here scavenged what they could from the Enclave ruins to make a living. Their leaders didn't exactly approve, so they built access tunnels in secret. We'll undoubtedly meet resistance from patrols, but if we find one, our chances of infiltrating the ruins would be much higher than a direct assault. And hopefully, we'll retain at least some of this mission's secrecy. Well, I like this plan. Well, it's something. At least it's something. What other choice do we have? None, I'm afraid. Then let's go before the Republic sends more reinforcements. We are the enemy of the Republic, of course. We're trying to get the upper hand on them. And if I ever get my hands, now that I officially get it, I hope one day I'm going to be able to finally kill Satil, that is. Uh, I've got Darth Rivix and Darth Krovos with me, both of them. 
He's my dream companion. Can I choose another companion? So Shay Vizla can be my companion instead. I kind of like having a Sif. It would be a good addition to uh, to the the party. And you know what? We're gonna give him a nice little crystal right here. I don't know why I can't modify him. That's very strange. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna stop the video right here. We spent a lot of time today just looking at our characters, looking at our new setups and everything. By the way it works, if I have to, I can always switch back. Now I've got the operative, which means I can uh, go on stealth mode. If I ever need to, I'm gonna go back to power attack the way uh, we're used to. But uh, I like the fact that I can be a stealth uh, agent, basically. I'll leave it for right now. Remember to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys for the next one. Keep it easy.